There are two main visuals that are seen when someone visits your Twitter profile your display photo, and your Twitter header image. It's important for you to use your visuals to capture attention. By making a Twitter banner that is designed well and sized properly, you'll be able to stand out and leave a great first impression. Hey, this is Nick from Snapbun. In today's design tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Twitter header image for free by repurposing custom templates which you can use for your own profile. So let's get right into it. So first off, what you want to do is make sure that you have the best Twitter header size and dimensions so that your banner photo follows Twitter's requirements. The recommended Twitter header photo size is 1500 pixels by 500 pixels, and this is an aspect ratio of 3 by 1. You'll also want to make sure that your photo format is either a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF, with JPEG being the recommended file format. Lastly, before we get started, you'll need to consider the profile picture safe zone when creating a Twitter header photo. Your display photo will cover part of your banner photo and scales based on different screen resolutions. So you'll need to make sure to keep important elements of your design on the right side of the banner photo. To simplify the process, we're going to be using Snappa to make a Twitter header image in less than five minutes. So once we're in, we'll navigate down to headers and banners. Once we found Twitter header, we'll notice that the size is already preset to what we need, so we'll click on that. So once we've selected the right template size, we can either choose to create from scratch, or we can repurpose one of the many templates that Snappa offers. And so we'll be choosing this one here. So once we're in, you'll notice that the save zone for our profile picture is already in place. This is meant just to be a guide and doesn't actually download with the image once we're done. To toggle this on or off, we'll navigate to the top menu bar here. So to start, I'm going to change the background image here. To do this, I'm going to navigate to the top left corner and click on the backgrounds tab. From here, I can either choose a colored background, I can upload my own background image, I can choose from a pattern background, or I can search for a free stock photo from the image library. So since I'm making a Twitter header image for a design company, I'm going to search design. Once I found the image that I like, I'll click on it, and you'll see that it replaced the image on the canvas. So I'm going to center the image by clicking on the reposition button on the top left here. Once I've repositioned the image to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and click apply. So the next thing I want to do is actually change the text. So I'll double click on the text here. I'll type in the text that I want. From here, I can either modify the text by navigating to the left side menu bar here. And from here, I can change the font style. I can change the font size. I can change the font color by navigating to the color picker. But in this case, I'm just going to keep it as is. So the next thing I want to do is actually upload the company logo to the header image. So I'm going to start by deleting these corner pieces here. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to navigate to the graphics tab in the top left. From here, you can either add an icon in, you can add a photo from the photo library. But in this case, I uploaded our brand logo into Snappa, and I'm going to click on it. Once it's in, I'm going to reposition it and resize it to where I want it to be on the graphic. So now that I'm basically done, I'm going to make some minor adjustments to make the overall design better. So I'll start by repositioning the text and increasing the size. I'm going to increase the text box. And so now that I push the whole design on the right side to avoid the profile picture safe zone, I'm going to navigate to the backgrounds tab. I'm going to click the reposition button and I'm actually going to scale in on the pencil in the background. Once I've done that, I'm going to click apply. So I'm pretty happy with my design. The last thing I want to do is brighten the background a bit. So I'm going to navigate to the effects tab in the top left here. I'm going to decrease the darken, and I'm also going to increase the contrast by just a tad. Once I'm done that, I can rename the graphic, and I'm going to save it to Snappa so I can make further changes in the future. Once I'm done that, I'm going to preview it by toggling the safe zone. Once everything looks good to go, I'm going to download it as a Retina JPEG. Once your image is downloaded, you'll be good to go to upload it right into Twitter as your header image. So what's nice about a Twitter header image is that you can keep it simple as long as it's relevant to your Twitter profile. Many users just use quotes for their Twitter header image, so you can easily click on this and repurpose this to a quote of your liking. Or you can keep it even more simple and just have a simple background without any text or icons. So you can delete these here. You can navigate to the backgrounds tab. You can just have it as a pattern photo. If you're still struggling to come up with a Twitter banner idea, let me know in the comments below. 
If there's enough demand, I'll go ahead and create a full blog post that lists some of my favorite Twitter header examples on the web. So that's it for today's Twitter header tutorial. If you guys are interested in stepping up your social media graphics, be sure to drop a like on this video as well as subscribe to our channel as I'll continue to drop more and more videos. I'll see you guys all in the next one.